You know what? They don't make replacement batteries for this one. Uh, no. The ice cream truck only plays that song when it's out of ice cream. Oh, this? This is mommy's medicine. Ho, ho, ho! <sighs> Parents are liars, but they don't have to be. It can feel scary to tell the truth, but the truth will set you free. That was profound. Anyways, today we are gonna take common lies that parents tell their kids and turn them into truths. It's time to get honest, y'all. To all your moms out there, you doing it right. I am here with some liars. I'm sorry, I mean moms. <laughs> Look, there is no judgment here. We all do it, we all lie a little bit, and we tell ourselves that it's because we want to protect them, but telling the truth can be uncomfortable, so really, are we protecting them or are we protecting ourselves? Right? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> a bit of both, right? <laughs> I'm gonna read some facts about lying. 45% of parents tell their children a white lie at least once a week. 20% of them are, call them well-meaning untruths daily. Hmm. Feels like a well-meaning untruth is just like a white lie in a tuxedo. 70% um, of parents teach their kids that lying is wrong. What are the other 30% teaching them, guys? <laughs> you know, when my husband was in the second grade, he had heard the term butt humper on the playground. <laughs> and at dinner, he asked his mom, what is a butt humper? Like, what is that? And she, I kid you not, in between bites of broccoli said, well, there are a lot of nerve endings in the anus, and um, <laughs> some people enjoy that sensation, and, and others do not. And oh, she wow. is my hero. Tell me um, a recent lie that you have told to your kids. Uh, my kids are very picky, but they love steak. So anything that I put on a plate, it's just steak, honey. You know what? We do that with chicken, too. So yeah. whether it's steak or it's salmon, it's just pink chicken. Yeah. So. Pink chicken. <laughs> I don't know that I can, I don't have an issue just, with this one. No? All right, that's a pass. That's a pass. I'm not a huge park mom. I want to be. I wish I was, but I get so bored so quickly. And so <laughs> we were driving by, and he was like, can we go to the playground? And I was like, you know what? The squirrels took over the playground last, last night, and they left the mess, and unfortunately, it's not open. It's not open. When my kids were little, I talked to them about F on the shelf, so I would always tell them, if you touch him, he will die. Oh, OK. And literally this year, they caught me moving him. <laughs> oh, no. I am like, oh. such a bad mom. <laughs> my 10-year-old was like, Mom, did you just kill Eli? I'm like, oh, no. I have a very controversial viewpoint about the whole Santa Claus thing, because when I had kids, we got so excited initially to do Santa Claus, and then my 3-year-old, she looked at us and said, it just doesn't make sense. Oh, so no. I said, you are absolutely right. And we got this great book called The Wonderful Wonderful Truth About Santa Claus, which explains why you shouldn't say it at school, but it also explains why if anybody gives a gift without saying who it's from, they are a Santa Claus. Anyway, I get a lot of flack for that, <laughs> but I stand by it. And my littlest one, who I've told numerous times, no, we do not have a man that breaks and enters once a year <laughs> and have a bunch of exotics on the roof. That doesn't happen and she still believes in him. So it's like, it. what are you gonna do? I wanna ask you guys some more questions, but just for fun, cause I had, had it in my purse, I brought a lie detector. Okay? <laughs> Is your name Jackie Lyon? Yes. Do you have two children? Yes. When you were giving birth, did you ever want your husband just to shut the hell up? No, never. That's true. You're a good woman. <laughs> Who's your favorite Frozen character, Anna or Elsa? Anna? She said that in a question. Does that even <laughs> count? Have you ever peed in a pool? Yes. Pee in the shower? All the time. <laughs> Do we ever get to the toilet? Kristen, are you wearing a purple dress? Yes. True. Do you think a finger-shaped after-dinner snack is a good description of a Cheeto? Yes. True. Do you think that you do more of the parenting than your husband does? Don't we all? John just told me with his eyes that that was the most honest answer he's ever received. <laughs> What's your favorite Frozen character, Anna or Elsa? Anna. Yes. Do you have a favorite kid? Yes. 
True. What's the worst curse word you've said in front of your kid? It's not a yes or no, I just was curious. I used to say ass a lot. Don't judge me. Ass? I don't know, my son started saying it. I would always say ass, and then he started calling people asses, and that's when I tried to stop using that word. That's a brilliant combination. I know. Though. When you were in France, mm -hmm. and you got a massage from a sexy masseuse, mm -hmm. was there any hanky-panky? I wish. True. Right? Are you sick of sloths? Nope. July. <laughs> if you had the chance. Yes. Would you sleep with Brad Pitt? No. That's a lie. Brad, come on out. Just kidding, he's not here. My husband is dying to sleep with Brad Pitt. I would let him, I would. Speaking of, have you ever had a three-way? No. Okay. That was one of John's questions. This one is from your husband. No, I, I'm scared. Have you ever put fingernail trimmings on someone's <laughs> active dinner plate? It was not an active plate. He finished the meal. I was trimming my nails. I had one. I put it on the plate that he was done with, and then all of a sudden, he gets hungry again and said, that's my active dinner plate. True. I just want to say thank you so much for spending the day with me. Oh, thank you so, so much. much. Nice. Nice. This was everything. Thank Except you. you, I want you to stay for a second because I got a, a couple more questions to ask you. <laughs> Lacey, it was so nice so to meet much. you. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Yeah. Such a pleasure. Jackie. Is your husband's name Robert? Yes. Do you share a company car with your husband? Yes. Do you have your own car? No. Would a new car make your family's life better? Unbelievably, yes. <laughs> Would you think I was lying if I told you there's a new car outside and I wanted to give it to you? Yes. Do you want to go outside and see it? Are you serious right Are now? Are you serious right now? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> no way. Oh my god. Friends at Hyundai wanted to make your life better with the Hyundai Santa Fe. This car is loaded with a whole bunch of technology, trunk space, and safety features so you can feel confident driving all your family. Oh my God, I don't know what to say. You deserve it. Thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome. All right, Lion family, I hope that this car takes you on the journey to Truth Town. It is bumpy, but it's fun. And uh, don't forget to tell your kids about butt humping.